Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Neowin posted an interesting article where they took a look at what users want Microsoft to improve in the Windows 11's settings app. And this was according to uh, posts and upvotes on Microsoft's Feedback Hub. So in this video, just to have a quick breakdown as to the so-called top 10 features that, that users want Microsoft to add and enable in the Windows settings app in up and coming upgrades to the Windows 11 operating system. And this list is in order of the number of upvotes each post got on the feedback hub. And then obviously we'll take a quick look at Microsoft's response um, according to each feature request. Now heading over to the settings app in Windows 11, there are still a couple of improvements to be made in the settings app as many of you would know. And the first is that um, users want Microsoft to add automatic switching between light and dark mode, which I actually think would be a nice move in the right direction. And Microsoft's response to that was appreciate the feedback. This has been shared with the team for future consideration. And that got 6,520 plus upvotes. So that's the top requested feature, automatic switching between light and dark mode. And then one that has already started to happen to some degree is that um, users want and Microsoft to merge the old control panel with the settings app. Now already Microsoft has started to do this already with the system that's been merged into the settings app. If we head to devices and printers, that's another one that's also been merged into the settings app. So Microsoft is busy merging some features, but most users, 6,360 plus upvotes um, want um, merging of the old control panel with the settings app and Microsoft's feedback. Uh, this is something we have been and will continue working on. And as mentioned, they have started migrating some of those control panel features over already. And then if we head over to Windows Update, the third most requested feature uh, regarding uh, the feedback hub for the settings is actually uh, to do with the fact that Windows Update should include change logs for cumulative updates. 2,130 plus upvotes. And um, already Microsoft has done this to some extent. So if we click on an update, you can click on learn more and this will actually take you over to the change log, the release notes as I call them. But uh, users weren't happy with that um, answer by Microsoft because that was Microsoft's response. And they say that Windows Update should display change logs before installing updates. So you can actually see what you are installing before you actually decide to install an update. And I actually think that's also a nice move in the right direction. And then the fourth most requested feature uh, is to allow opening several settings windows at once, 2,030 plus upvotes. So that's basically almost what you would consider to be tabs uh, in the system. So if you open up different settings um, uh, in the settings app, those tabs would open up very similar to File Explorer. So you can open multiple windows and several settings windows at once in the settings app which i think would once again also be a nice move in the right direction and microsoft's response we got this feedback and then the fifth most requested feature uh, restore the old default apps settings section so heading over to the apps default apps and this is also one i would agree with uh, windows 10 allows setting default apps per, per category as many of you would know so that would be email browser media player and so on not per extension as it currently is um, or per protocol as it currently is in windows 11 so once again i think that would be a great move if microsoft did uh, decide to um, basically restore the old default app setting section and microsoft's response to that we got this feedback so i'm taking it when they say that we've got this feedback not much is actually going to happen there but anyway microsoft says they are aware of the feedback and then the sixth most requested feature slow performance 830 plus upvotes and microsoft's response they've been making improvements as subsequent builds have flighted out and will we'll continue monitoring feedback so that's microsoft's response to slow performance and then the seventh most requested feature for the settings app add search to device manager now as new one does state this isn't directly related to the settings app but if we head over to the device manager it's very close because it does feature all the hardware installed on your system um add search to device manager and microsoft's response to that at this point we are not planning on making investments in this space However, we will take your request into consideration if that plan changes. So that's that feedback from Microsoft regarding adding a search to the device manager. 
And then the eighth most requested feature, do not remove the old control panel, 350 plus votes. Now that's strange because um, the, um, one of the, the most requested features was that Microsoft migrates a lot of the control panel settings and the control panel over into settings. And 350 plus votes, not really that many upvotes, but nonetheless, um, most users agree that Windows 11 should have only one app for the settings. But more than 350 users have upvoted the suggestion to keep the good old, as they are calling it, control panel in the operating system. And I actually kind of agree on that. Um, I have found over the years from Windows 95 up until present day that just having basic settings in the legacy control panel is still a good option, even today in Windows 11. So um, I personally would agree that Microsoft should keep the legacy control panel to some extent. And Microsoft's response to that, they got this feedback. So they were, there we go. Microsoft has received that feedback. And then um, the second last one, number nine, allow adjusting the amount of transparency, not just the on-off switch, 185 plus votes. So if we head over to uh, the colors once again and the transparency effects, as mentioned at this stage, you can only turn that on and off. And users want to be able to adjust the amount of transparency. And Microsoft's response, once again, they got this feedback. And then the 10th and the last one, add a screen time feature. Seven, sorry, 70 plus votes. So that's 70 plus votes. And Microsoft says their response, they got this feedback. And basically, that's a built-in feature that will let you see how much time you spend using various apps and set screen time limits. Very similar to what you find um, on most and mobile phones and also Mac OS. So that's it. That's the so-called 10 most requested features according to that article and recent post by Neowin and improvements that Windows 11 users want to see in the settings app in up and coming updates to Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.